Greetings, people. I'm going to be showing a little uh, technique to make a uh, TC in a pixel gap. Now, most people uh, that know this technique think you can only do it with sheet metal. I want to show you it's possible with HQM. But first of all, let's do a little theorizing, okay? You want to get a TC in a nice little triangle, right? Just like this, or so. And you want it to be accessible. How is this accessible? How can you get to this TC? Can you jump up on a box and look in between this? Anything like that? An alarm? Nothing. There's no gap at all. There's no getting to that TC. No, we can look at it with uh, sheet metal. And, you know, obviously it's the same thing. I just want to show the setup here. So how do we get gaps into this? All right, well, the easiest way is to do a slight offset on your foundations. And you can use this technique to get the placement. Two squares and a roof end on one side, and then a half wall. Then you just want to walk over to this corner and once you get over to the corner, you look out that direction, and then you start holding right, or D, you know, hold right. And you got to hold D for the duration of this, all right? Do not let go of the D, no pun intended. All right, so while you're holding D, you got to break this, and then you switch to your building plan, still holding D, go to triangle, and get a triangle somewhere you like it. This is going to be your TC placement. Let's say it's, uh, I think this is lined up. If you need to go up and down, you can, it's fine. Just do not let go of D. And now after you've placed it, you let go of D and you press A. Don't move your mouse. Press Alt if you need to, so you don't move your mouse accidentally. All right, after you move left, you move right until it snaps in just like that. It's not really a snap, it's more like a, you know, sit in place. All right, so now what you'll find is these look about the same, but they're not. This one right here is a tiny, tiny bit lower. So we can use it as a lower triangle. And what we want to do is take the height from this one and use it for the top half of this half wall. And if you've done it correctly, you should be able to break all this and it will stick. And then you place your TC. Um, not sure that you want it to be kind of up flush, I think. I'm not uh, entirely sure. Just a little bit back is probably fine. Up flush is probably fine. You don't want it to be way too far back. You don't want it to be like this. Okay, that's the big thing. You gotta, you gotta be something like this. All right, and then you just place the lower one and you upgrade it. And if you wanna do more shenanigans with these gaps, you can reserve this height and do them. But all in all, we're done with the TC. So you'll see there seems to be some little gap there, but we can't really get to the right height. So how do we get to the right height? The easiest way I've found to do it is with a smart alarm. You can buy these at Outpost if you need to, if you don't have the research capabilities. And then you jump on it and crouch. Now, uh, you don't get it right away. It's This is a very difficult one. It's the tiniest gap of actual place you can see through in the world. So you just kind of scan the middle of your screen across it. Bring up a cursor dot if you can. Uh, I'm going to get an AK or something. And just get the center right along it and keep looking along the center the best you can. Eventually you'll see open. And if you don't get it, the first couple scans, shift a little bit and try it again. There it is. Uh, got it. So it is accessible and it is an HQ and pixel gap. Now the thing is, you pick this alarm up, right? 
a raider cannot place anything here to get the right height uh, because they don't have building privilege. And the only way to get building privilege is to get inside of this, which is obviously not going to be easy. So they basically have to spend 16 rockets on it. I don't know. There might be a shenanigan where they can shoot through that or something, but I'm haven't tested and it's not easy and most people just aren't going to bother because it's going to be way too complicated and time consuming so the other way if you don't have a smart alarm but you have the siren light you can do this as well now uh you get you need three of them the triple so you get it right to where it flips right at the very bottom and you just stack three of them snap them on top of each other like that and that's also the perfect height to do this. Um, but it's the same deal if you don't get it right away, you just shift a little bit. There it is. It is possible.